Hi Sagittarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the month of June 2017. I also want to remind you your current week video is up as well as for your week of May 29th. And if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a uh, psychic reading, please contact me on my website at www.ms-swami.swami.com and you'll find a link to that below this video. Uh, overall, it's a good month for restoring your balance, even though it's a little bit emotional. Uh, it's also a month of putting your foot down, taking authority, voicing up your opinion to those of you around you that are taking advantage of you. Uh, at some point in time, you're going to have the lack of belief, the energy to turn things around, but things do turn around in your favor, but it also shows that you're rethinking your options, okay? So, not a bad month. So, let's take a look. This is for Sagittarius for the month of June 2017. Looks like we have some changes on the home front. We start with the King of Wands, followed by the Two of Cups, Major Arcana of the Death card, the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, and Major Arcana of the Hermit. So let me break this down for you guys, okay? Looks like a mild month for Sagittarius. We start with your balance is being restored, and there's a happy union. And this is with someone uh, that you already know. So not really someone in your past, but someone that you know. Someone maybe you haven't really taken the time to communicate with, but just a really strong connection there. Beside that, we have the death card. And like I said, this is the end of an emotional cycle for you guys. This is closure. This is new beginnings. Um, <clears throat> really what I want to stress here is the word quick. And because the beginnings that I'm seeing for Sagittarius in the month of June come very quickly, very suddenly. Moving forward, we have the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, and we have the Hermit. The Three of Wands... This is not only reflecting on the past of what worked well in your past, this is implementing something from your past, bringing it back around, a new cycle with it. Um, something that, like I said, something that worked well or worked to your advantage is something you're going to bring back in the month of June. Page of Swords says that you're very happy, but also warns of not making quick decisions this month. And there's a little bit of scattered energy there, and I really want to just kind of throw this out there to be careful of accidents, be careful of accidents in the home, things like that. Just slow down a little bit in the month of June. The Hermit, indicating the Wisdom card, shows that you are on the right path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Moving forward, we have <clears throat> the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, and we have a Major Arcana of the Moon, Major Arcana of the Hierophant, Page of Wands, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. We just go keep on going here. The Empress, let me keep rolling with this, and the Lovers. Okay, let me set these to the side and give you one more. Okay, what we got here, we have the Ace of Swords, which means you're also under new beginnings. So we saw that with the Death card, as well as that Six of Swords, which shows you're leaving troubles behind and you're moving into the calm waters. Now, why I continue to pull card after card after card. Okay, we started with the moon, okay? And I don't like to end on a major arcana. And as you can see, all the major arcanas followed afterwards. So what we had here was the moon, okay? And with the moon, you had the hair font. This indicates some deception and some decisions. There's some soul searching that you guys are going to have to do there. I pulled after this one because this is not only the Sagittarius card of you appearing in your own reading, it is also the messenger card. And then, of course, we had a slew of uh, major arcanas that followed that. The Wheel of Fortune shows that you guys are overwhelmed and there's a lot of anxiety going on there. The Empress indicates changes on the home front. And I'm sorry, i got a screaming toddler in the background. Empress indicates changes on the home front. And then we also have changes in the love life, okay? So a lot going on for Sagittarius on the emotional front. And then we ended with the two of swords showing that, yes, you still have decisions to make. So let's take a look at this month. What a mess we have going on here. Okay, we started with quick new beginnings. We started with to trust where you're being led. You're on the correct path. Then we come up into decisions. 
uh, of de there's deception and decisions to be made with that. We have you being overwhelmed. And then, of course, we have the happy home front and changes in the love life. Look at this, guys. I can't make this up. Pretty amazing month for Sagittarius. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and su subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.